like a popularity contest almost like let me support the popping black owned business but not the struggling one like what it is what it ain't it's your girl ombrella and i am back with another video okay today we are getting into a new segment on my channel it is called pet peeves okay in this segment the pet peeve is going to be black owned businesses and if you do not know who i am my name is ombre i'm from washington dc i'm 26 years old and yes i am an entrepreneur and i do have my own business called empress solution where i sell natural hair care such as shampoo conditioner styling products you name it if you'd like to go to my website i will leave it on the screen as well as leave a link in in the description so you can check out my business okay so in today's video I thought about doing this because I feel as though a lot of people have been getting stupider and stupider as the pandemic the COVID-19 crisis virus has continued I feel like there's been a lot of stupid things going on in the media and um just in general so i'm here with my little chill vibe you know to let y'all know what my pet peeves are about black owned businesses this is going to be a little bit different because i am an entrepreneur and a business owner myself so it's going to be kind of from the business owner standpoint um unlike a video it'll probably be like a from a customer point of view this is from a uh a business point of view so if you're ready to hear how I feel about you know what my pet peeves are we're gonna get it started make sure that you like comment your thoughts below if you have more pet peeves about black owned businesses from either standpoint please don't feel don't feel shy don't feel scared you know what I'm saying leave a comment below and tell me what your pet peeves are and we can chat about that okay so first pet peeve is people expecting products for free that is the most annoying thing that's why i put it as the number one pet peeve it's very annoying to me um for maybe it's like family members expecting specifically expecting people me to give them free products when um I do have a business and it's a small business so I don't have a lot of merchandise to give out and I'm hoping you know that I can keep as much you know uh, especially like the containers and stuff it costs a lot to like buy things for your business and um, if you just give everything out for free and you ain't making no money, then your business is like sinking. So I find it really horrifying that I feel like sometimes family is, uh, they want to support you, but only when it's beneficial. It's like they want to support you unless you give them free products. Like, and I don't mean like, I mean like every time, like every time you mention something about your business like they want it for free like it's different if i choose to give it to you for free but if you keep asking me for free products like no 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 do do not expect me to send you free products or anything like that like specifically i can say an example an example is like someone actually messaged me via D dm of my business and they actually um asked me if i could send them free products and that they could review it on their youtube channel and um and they actually told me what their pay rate was and how i'm supposed to repost the video clips if i want to put it on my instagram my business instagram and i'm like hold on a second like hold up first of all i don't have an affiliate program for my business because it is a small business and i can't afford to uh pay people to to use my products i i feel like if you genuinely like a, a product of of mine or in general of a small business you should just buy it and review it i mean personally reviewing it doesn't um stop it doesn't make you look bad it's like almost like they just expect to get paid for it and it's like if you really like the product then why why is posting it or or anything for free a problem I don't I don't understand that like 
I don't understand that. And you never know what could happen in the future. If you buy enough of the products, then I feel like, especially small businesses, they will reach out and give you discounts. But as far as expecting a, a brand or a, a small business specifically to reach uh, to give you free products it's like that's not the way it works you have to do put in the work on your youtube channel to get discovered that's the way it works you can't just expect um people to give you things for free and she actually asked me and i'm like i didn't reach out to you baby like i'm the face of my own brand so to me i don't I, I would wholeheartedly appreciate people posting, buying my products and posting it. But I'm not asking nobody to do anything. If you don't want to do that, then you don't have to. Um, I can do that myself, actually, for free. So, like, look at my hair. Like, I can post my own videos and, and do my own thing. Like, I feel like if you see somebody grinding and working hard and doing their small business especially right now is people are struggling myself included like i don't need nobody that is trying to get get extra money out of me okay so that's that's just with that that was an example um the next pet peeve is people spending two hundred dollars and up on popular black owned businesses and not shopping with local small businesses this this is one of those things that bothers me because um i just i don't understand why people are pressed to put out this facade like they just have so much money and i don't get that like i feel like it does with a black home business it does depend on what you sell um that but i have seen like a lot of like uh cosmetic brands or or skincare brands or hair care brands that are just way too high you know what i'm saying like it costs way too much um and i'm going to use my business as a, as an example emperor solutions i use a lot of natural ingredients whether it's shea butter or avocado butter or i'm experimenting with new things um or it's tea tree or or anything like that like it's still expensive but i don't my mo isn't to gank people for their money i want to um because i'm black i understand you know specifically in our community it's a lot of us that don't have money and i understand that so i market my my prices based off of what i think is reasonable um for hair care like hair care black owned hair care or hair care in general for black people is very expensive um and um wherever you go so i just i feel like that's a good way to have a small business is to kind of gear towards your community um so i don't have expensive products but i still feel like i don't get the um amount of support that i deserve for the products that i have or for the business that i have and i see other people out there and and it's no shade and it's no jealousy or anything and but it's just like how how are people spending two hundred dollars with other businesses i don't get that like how do you have two hundred dollars right now to spend on just one thing like the stuff I have on my website, it doesn't even add up to close to that. But I'm just saying that I don't like how people are just with the trend of it all. They're just with, let me just support this successful black-owned business and not support someone that's grinding, someone that's doing it on their own, someone that don't have a team. Like, why, why aren't, like, people that's in the trenches like trying to make businesses why aren't people like that getting support that's all i'm saying that's a pet peeve for me like support people that's out here really grinding and doing it on their own like and not just writing their name on on shit or hiking up the price just because they need so and so or whatever like i have a business because like not just because i need a little money like it's not really about the money i'm trying to i make products for um the improvement and the maintenance of black hair i'm really trying i really want black women to you know uh feel better black when women and men to feel better about their hair to love their hair and that's what i really do it for and i just don't feel like i get enough support with that 
So it's just a pet peeve for me that people are just, it's like a popularity contest almost. Like, let me support the popping black owned business, but not the struggling one. Like, support. Support people that really, 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 truly need it, you know? Send comments under product pictures like, need a revamped logo, or I have a question, can you DM me? It's rude, okay? So, I've been having this issue a couple of days, and if you follow me on my Instagram, I'll put it down below, because if you're not following me on my Instagram, you might want to go do that, okay? Um... I put a post on my Instagram, on both Instagrams, and I'll post both below, um, about just being irritated that I feel like I get tons of spam and tons of comments on my business page under my pictures that I take myself with a camera, uh, with a professional camera. I get, um, pit I get comments under these photos that I'm uploading and it's always need a logo or have a logo. I made it myself. So it's like, why are you commenting? And it's, it's shady to me to be like, need a revamped logo, want to trash your logo? No, I don't. I don't. Like, I'm doing everything that I can by myself. And the, the, the reason why you're reaching out and you're saying this under my photo is because you want money it's not because you like what i'm doing but it's not good enough it's because you you want me to pay you to make me a logo and i'm a small business like i don't get that like you see a logo don't be rude and post something like that like don't like the picture and then post something shady like that's rude to me like please stop doing that um, number four is saying that you want, um, you won't take pictures for a business that sent you free merchandise without being paid. Um, that's something that I've seen a lot recently with a lot of, like, beauty influencers. I feel like they're saying things like they don't want to post things, um, they don't want to post things on their pages uh, for free. I think specifically I saw someone that said something like, I'm not taking time out of my day to take pictures for your business for free merch and not get any money out of it. And I think at the end of it, it said, respectfully go to hell. And I'm like, I could dissect that whole, that whole paragraph and find errors. First of all, the word is not merch. The word is merchandise. Someone took the time out of their day, out of their, and took the, the, the merchandise out of their business to, to actually package it up, make it, package it up, and send it to you for free. They paid for the shipping. They took money out of their own business to send you free merchandise, took money out for the shipping, shipped it to you for free. And what you're saying is, is that you don't want to post that someone did that for you for free. What? And you spend all day taking pictures of yourself anyway for free. Am I, did I miss something just now? I don't get that. I don't get how you can be so ungrateful. Especially in times like, especially in times like this, I don't see how you can be that disrespectful and ungrateful to a business that sent you some shit for free. Like, I don't, I just don't understand that. Like, if somebody sent me something out of their business, out of the kindness of their heart, out of the respect for what I got going on, I will wholeheartedly, humbly post and post and post I'll do an Instagram post and a fucking story just because I, I think that that's amazing that somebody like took the time out of their day to do to think about me and send me something for free. It's not about the money. It's about the gratitude. It, it's about the kindness. I don't think I think people are missing it. And when you shorten a word like merchandise to merch, you're devaluing. You're devaluing the person's quality of their business. You're devaluing the word merchandise itself. Doesn't that sound like a lot? Merchandise? To me, that sounds like a fucking big deal. 
But since you walk around all day feeling yourself saying some fucking merch, you, you're devaluing it. You're de devaluing the time that it takes to actually think about a person, like a person's appeal, like what a person's got going on, and to send them something for free. That's a lot. And you don't know how their day has been. You don't know what they got going on. And you don't care. But you but but you don't care? Like I don't I really don't like that. That's like a huge pet peeve of me. Be grateful. Be fucking grateful. Seriously. Don't walk around like you smelling yourself that much. And it's and it be the girls that post pictures of themselves every day. Like I don't get that. Why are you saying like you don't you so you mean to tell me you want them to pay you to post one little time and you want them to send you free stuff like people are just asking for too much in my opinion like people are just asking for too much no absolutely not that's disrespectful and saying respectfully go to hell that's like a huge pet peeve of mine as well. Like, there's no way to respect a person and say, go to hell. Like, that's an oxymoron. That's disrespectful. That's like saying jumbo shrimp. You can't say respectfully in the first beginning and then say, go to hell. There's nothing respectful that you've said. Do you know what respect is? That's not respect. That's disrespectful. Don't tell no business to go to hell and they sent you something for free. That's really disrespectful to me. I just want to conclude this pet peeve video. I will have more pet peeves coming because people are getting on my nerves. People and their unprofessionalism is annoying. So I will be coming back. Make sure you comment below and subscribe to my channel for more pet peeve videos that's going down. I'll see y'all in the next video.